All right, today we're putting this bike together, which means coolant, oil, and accoutrements. All right, so we want to change the oil, which we've already taken the oil out. We've drained the oil out. It all should be out mainly at this point, but I want to change this filter while I'm here and then put new oil in it. First, I'm going to check to make sure all the oil is drained out, which means removing, removing the uh, oil plug from the bottom here. This guy's just a 12 millimeter. Well, we got oil. I'm amazed, there's still oil in there. And so while that's draining, I am also going to take off the oil filter, which I usually can get off by hand, but. And this is just a little strap wrench. I'm gonna use this guy, it works real simple. We wrap it around the oil filter, slot it through the little handle here, like that and then you basically leverage it boop, and pull it right off. So, okay, well it doesn't help that everything is cold. We put a heat gun on it. All right, I have now broken my wrench here. You can see that. Just broke that cable. Pull it right off there. So I am not going to be getting this filter off right now. I, I'm hoping that if I actually run the engine and get everything hot, that this will loosen up enough, expand the engine block and everything will expand enough that this will slide off of here. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna put oil back in it run the thing, and then we'll change the oil filter at some later date. So with that new plan, let's go ahead, put our drain plug back on here. All right, so then this engine is supposed to take, according to the manual, two and a half to 2.9 quarts of oil. Well, I don't see any oil showing up in our little window here. So it's over two and a half quarts. Sit down. All right, so now I can, I can see it. It's sort of at the minimum. The oil's got to filter down into there and everything a little bit, but that's about it. I'm going to add a little bit more. Get us at least in the middle of that window. Yeah, that's better. So I'm gonna leave it right about there. It took us right about there. So we used we used up three fourths of this container here. That's where we're at on that. So about two and three quarter quarts I just put in there. Over on the left hand side of the bike, right over here, is where we find our filler for the coolant reserved overflow tank. So the overflow tank is down down here along the side, the back sort of side of the frame here on the back side of the engine. I'm just gonna fill this up. This thing is basically empty. I think that's really, I didn't drain the whole coolant system when I transported the bike and I think all it drained out was this stuff here when I tipped it over on its side. It's something I forgot to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my little filler hose in here. Add some coolant to this thing. All right, then of course we want to put some gas in this thing. Oh yeah, gas time. Should be a neutral.
sweet. That is what we like to hear. <laughs> All right, so bike runs, big hurdle. First time for running here in Texas. I'm super thrilled by that. And that means putting it back together, which means putting all these little covers back on it. <laughs> and putting some stuff on it that we haven't seen yet. I haven't seen yet. So this will be exciting. I'm absolutely thrilled to see what the bike looks like in its basic form. Alright, there it is. Looking a little bit beefier now. Some uh, shoulder pads on it. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of funny. But yeah, that's cool. I mean, you don't even notice it when you're riding, really. I mean, you can see that stuff there, but it's totally not in the way. Alright, so the one thing we're missing to get inspected is some mirrors. I've got some cheap bar and mirrors here. I'm gonna throw those things on there. mirrors so I can put them like this put them like that all right so this is the bike in its most basic form let's check it out here All right, so at this point, I'm not happy with how this seat turned out. I need to fix that. I need to take the red tape off the back wheel. All this stuff back here needs to come off. The seat really just does not work, I don't think, for this. I don't like it. It stands out, it looks odd. And then the gray up here, this little silver up here, I think that looks odd. I think I need this stuff to be a little bit more uniform in color, I think. I'm gonna get rid of this red stripe on the wheel. Maybe that will help because it just is very distracting at the moment. All right, well, that's essentially it. And it's the basic general form that I had imagined and sort of planned on doing. And I'll put a picture up of the original sort of sketch of what this was supposed to look like. compared to what it looks like now. But there's still a few things I'd like to do to it. All right, so this is the bike as it is right now. This is sort of like, I'm gonna call it the phase one, where we get it to the point where it's actually rideable as a bike again. And we can sort of start testing it out and, and figuring out all the bugs on it, if there are any bugs, and making improvements. Once it's legal, and once it's actually a bike again, and, I, and it has, has some value, has some definitive value as a bike, I'm going to, go ahead and redo some stuff like I'll get actual I'm just using like leftover sort of hardware I'll get some actual matching hardware for this thing we'll also I want to go ahead and put a crash bars on the side here so make some of those and I also want to make a skid plate for it I think that would be nice to have I want to make panniers for the back to hang off the sides here so I can take, you know, go to the grocery store and uh, do stuff like that with this bike, make it a little bit more functional. I'd also like maybe the, a, a rack thing that goes on the back to here as well, possibly at some point. In the front, possibly, I would also like to do, I'd also like to do a windscreen, uh, something up here to adapt on here so that I can actually bolt the windscreen on and off as I want. But up until this point, the last time I looked, I've spent, let's say $1,800 this is what we've got in total. Acquiring the bike, fixing the bike, materials, all that stuff, $1,800. For $1,800, this is pretty cool. 2,000 miles, 2,200 miles. Brand new, it's a brand new bike, basically, engine-wise, mechanics-wise, and I've customized it 
for better or worse. I'm still not, at this point, I'm looking at it, I'm still not sure that I like how it looks. I think I'm definitely gonna I have to paint it, and I think that will help improve things a lot, and then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change this seat thing up, because A, it's not working out. The, the execution on this seat, I learned a lot on doing seats, uh, the upholstery and everything, and so I need to redo this for sure at some point, but I would like to ride it and just use the bike for a little bit figure out some more details on what I want to do and how I should go about doing it and then we'll actually fix some stuff up and we do things and paint it but for right now I'm just gonna ride it as a mess that it is and go from there and we'll learn some stuff as we're riding it next steps getting it inspected and then getting it taking all the paperwork and stuff in and getting all that done and getting it legal so we're finally to that point. It's taken longer than I wanted, but we're finally to that point, and I'm excited to be here. And this will be, this will be interesting. This is probably the most interesting aspect of it for me because it's something I've never done before, and I've never seen anyone explain before how this works. So I'm looking forward to do that. Revelations of bureaucracy coming up. So it's a short video, but thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.